another feature of signal transduction is the existence of many cascades in that a G protein may activate a specific enzyme, say a serine threonine kinase, which then activates a second serine threonine kinase, which then activates a third serine threonine kinase, etc. There are some very important cascades known as the MAP kinase cascades or the mitogen activated uh, protein kinase cascades. In these cascades, serine threonine kinases known as MAP kinase 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 enzymes in turn activate other serine threonine kinases known as MAP kinase kinase enzymes, which in turn activate the MAP kinase enzyme. There is variation in these pathways with multiple partners and both convergence and divergence. At the MAP kinase stage, many enzymes are actually transported into the nucleus where they can either attach to DNA and activate transcription or they may change the phosphorylation of proteins which attach to DNA and change levels of transcription. And so the MAP kinase cascades very important in con the control of cell division rates end with MAP kinase enzymes which change transcription levels of genes in the nucleus.